how did you come up with the Creative Baggage logo? And how did you even come up with the name Creative Baggage? Well, you go. I I think I came up with Creative Baggage. Bailey and I like I kind of went through a lot of different names. And then once I threw that one out there, we were both kind of like, yeah. But we definitely wanted it to be about creativity and not music specifically. Um, I think that was the biggest thing that, cause like a lot of our conversations in the beginning before we started the podcast that led to starting the podcast was about how like, we didn't want to just identify as flutists and we didn't want to just identify as classical musicians or musicians or even artists. Like we just, there's gotta be more to it. And we both kind of agreed that like, we're creative people and we really take pride in that. And like all of the things that we do kind of fall under that umbrella. And then, I mean, if you listen to season one of Creative Baggage, like it's a lot of complaints and that's how it all started. Like we had just a lot of complaints about the classical music world and what it is to be a musician. And, and a lot of it was unpacking like not trauma necessarily, but just like unpacking some of the, the mental burdens that we had from growing up in this world. And whether it's like Bailey's high school or like my pre-college program, like inherently, I don't think that the programs were it. I think it was just like the process of being a young person going through a situation where you're seeing people who are highly successful and maybe only being surrounded by people like that. Um, and so it, it's kind of baggage. Like it's, I, I feel like that was the word. And then when we put it together, it sounded nice. Um, so we just kind of went with the idea of baggage and we, I mean, I literally saw this exact like baggage symbol on a yellow sign at the airport. Cause I guess it's just like really standard. <laughs> I think I took a picture of it. I should post that on our Instagram story. But at first it was just that sign. Like we just had creative baggage written over it and then a podcast by Serena Bailey and Serena and then at during season two we were like all right time to get crazier and Bailey and I played around with like changing some colors or like moving the baggage around and we were like I don't know like the yellow is kind of iconic we like the yellow and the black what else can we do and then I kind of made this one like a joke like it looks a little bit like a smiley face with the like it those sides. And I was like, haha, look at this. And she was like, it's trippy, but I kind of like it. And then we like looked at it for a little longer and we were like, yeah, maybe we'll just keep this. And it was like two baggages for season two. And we joked about doing like three baggages for season three and four baggages for season four. But I think that like this works really nice because it's not it's no longer basic, right? Like it's no longer copyable. It's its own thing, but it uses the basic shapes. And, and I like that because it, it's memorable. So what's in store for season four? Oh, well, we've got next now episodes coming out, which are our interviews with the students that we talked to at the university of Maryland. Um, and they're going to be, four episodes. And I actually am really excited to hear them because Bailey and Bailey has been the primary editor of this series and Justin is going to be editing it. So in this specific case, I'll be the last to hear what's going on. Um, but I mean, I remember the interviews very clearly. I remember being really surprised and optimistic about the answers that the students were giving us about where they're headed and what creativity means to them. Like everybody was like a political science major and also theater or like, it, it like just the craziest combinations. And they all had these really thought out answers for why they were doing what they did and how it will come together. Or like the fact that they don't need to know how it will come together. That's um, so it, it was pretty incredible. We talked to both like, really young like freshman students which was like kind of the target audience for the program but we also talked to the students who were leaders in like setting up the whole festival or hosting other events at the festival so it was a great mix and I feel like on the podcast we do a lot of interviewing people who are older and more established than us so it's pretty 
refreshing. And it, it was like a good eye opener for us to see like what people who haven't been through what we've been through are thinking and what they're up to. And I felt like we also learned a lot from them too. So yeah, next now. And then we've got our regular guest interviews. You're gonna probably be on it, which is gonna be good. Um, and Bailey and I wanna do also more solo, um, either like each of us taking on our own projects from where we are, because now we're all based in different places and um, just talking to each other and Justin and having more of a, of a emphasis on what each of us are doing. Because I think for a long time, I mean, season one, we talked about our past. Seasons two and three, I think we mostly inter in interviewed people that we were either friends with or inspired by. And I feel like now we both have more of a grasp on our own paths and it would be nice to be able to talk about that more. So I think the proportion of guest interviews is going to be a little bit smaller. And then that way we can expand on what we're currently doing and all the things that we've learned and gathered from the past. And then we're going to try to make some more video series like this one or like Bailey wants to do a, a series on like her process getting back into the flute after she decided not to become a full-time performer. And so she wanted to do like an audio series, but I suggested to make it videos because then I feel like it's more compelling. You get to see more of the emotions and, and maybe even clips of her practicing or what she's working on. That final episode, season three, oof. That, it's that so was, different from how things are now, right? Yeah, and, and you know, I heard it and then not soon after talked to her and she was, right, because it was released very, uh, quite a little bit after I think it was uh, recorded. Um, but I think probably a lot of people connected with that and I connected with that because I walked away myself. So, um, and now I'm back in some weird form. So, um, it was, it, it really, I felt that I, I, um, and I had the opportunity to catch up with her about it. And so I think it'd be really interesting for people to kind of see what her journey is like now at Curtis and, um, um, I, I think that'll be really, really cool. And to have a visual component to something, because both of you have talents visually, I think, um, both of, and so it'd be really cool to showcase that and to share that with people. Yeah, no, I'm so excited. I feel like before we were kind of just like a, a tricycle, like we were running on the same vehicle and we needed everyone to spin for the, this one tricycle to move. But like, I feel like at this point, like we each trust each other's artistic visions. Like in the beginning, we had to like micromanage Justin's editing because it was like, he didn't know what we wanted. And so we had to be like, go out of our way to be extra clear so that he could have an easier time like editing and we could be on the same page for everything. But then it got to a point where like, when we eat, like let go and was like, hey, I think you're at a point where you understand how these episodes go now. Like you can have free reign, do whatever you want. Like we started to see the creative aspects of Justin's editing. Like he would do funny cuts or like he remixed our intro in a really cool way that sometimes like incorporates fragments of what we say in like throughout the episode into the intro. And he has all these ideas. And so like, I feel like with me and Bailey too, we were such a unit. Like we always hosted everything together. We discussed everything we were going to do together, but it, it could be cool, especially now that we're in different places for season four, for all of us to kind of reach out into our own connections with people, our own ideas, our own artistic visions, and even bring more people into the family. Like I, I think we're at the point now where like anybody who's been a guest or like involved with creative baggage, like they could come back and appear and be known and, and bring more of themselves instead of just like the regular intro of like, hi, I'm this person. This is what I do. This is where I'm from. This is how I know Bailey and Serena. And I'm so excited to be here. Like, I think 
we're at the point where we can skip a little bit of that. And so there's so much more freedom for everybody involved to express themselves. Yeah, it's great. It's community building, but also it's just so special to have a project with your friends and for the project to evolve as all of you are evolving. 